It's 5 a.m. and you've stumbled out to your car, thrown your gear in the back, and you're heading out for a day of wildlife photography, hoping for some action. Are you actually ready for that action? What if, at 5.27 in the morning, in the first rays of sunshine, a lynx walks across the road right in front of you with a kitten behind it? Imagine the scene. You're driving along, scanning the roadside, chewing your morning donut, listening to the radio, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a lynx pops out of the bush onto the road. And just like that, your world's in a frenzy. My name is Johnny Marriott. Are you ready for the shot of a lifetime? So let me ask you again. If you went out photographing tomorrow morning, would you be prepared for the shot of a lifetime? For that split second opportunity when a lynx crosses the road or a wild wolf pauses in the snow? The first step to being ready is the most obvious one, and that is make sure you have your camera out of the bag and turned on. You'd be amazed how many people will leave the city and think they're not gonna see anything for the first hour, so they leave everything in the camera bag, and then by the time they do see something, they don't have time to grab it, pull it out, turn it on before the animal's gone. As soon as I leave the house first thing in the morning, I make sure I have my camera out and my big lens sitting on the seat right beside me with a bean bag. Why not just have it on a tripod ready to go? Because as soon as I have to stop the car and get out and get my tripod out, I'm gonna scare away any sensitive wildlife like a wolf or a lynx. So instead, I grab my bean bag throw it on the windowsill and set my big lens up right on there and fire away. And I can do all that within a second. The other essential step is to have your camera settings optimized for a worst case scenario. What I mean by worst case scenario is an animal walks out at dawn or at dusk in very low light and you want to be able to get that shot within that split second opportunity. So for that, my own worst case scenario settings, I set my ISO as high as I'm comfortable with. For this particular camera, that's ISO 10,000. I set my aperture as low as possible because I'm shooting an aperture priority. So I shoot at f4 for this particular lens, which is the lowest it goes to. So if I point this over and there's a lynx on the side of the road, and there's only one 1 25th of a second of light available, that's what it will shoot at. And at least I'll have a chance of getting that shot of a lifetime. Use these key steps and you will be ready for the shot of a lifetime. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more about how to become a better wildlife photographer.